So I am in that time of my life where I'm just waiting for college application decisions to come out. It is in the middle of February and let's just say the waiting game is getting kind of boring. So I thought I would kind of come on here and explain my college process and the schools that I've applied to and what I've gotten into so far. So I am filming a college decision reaction video right now because I've actually got into a couple of them um, already and those are like the really easy schools. So how I started my college application process was that I knew I was going to go to um, either a private, a UC, or a CSU. And luckily for me, I do live in the state of California where the UC system is very admired by other states. So schools like UC Berkeley, UCLA, and other UCs below that are ranked higher above than other state schools like, I don't know, UT, which is like University of Texas, University of like Vermont. Um, they're not as high up there as let's say UC Berkeley. Um, how I rank all my schools is by the US News and Report. It's like a national US school rating system which they include all the privates, all the Ivy Leagues, and all of the public schools. Yes, including like the UCs and UTs and UVs. <laughs> um, you're gonna hear a lot about Texas and Vermont just as an example. And luckily, since I do live in the state of California, I am able to go to the UCs for a cheaper price. Um, I do want to do like another video on that, so if you guys would like that, please either thumbs it up or comment it down below so that I know. Uh, so what had happened for me was I do come from a pretty low income family, and so I got to get four UC. Um, fee waivers. Um, all of the CSU, CSUs are all of our um, state schools. I believe CSUs are private. Yeah, and there's like a bunch of them. There's um, this like Cal Poly system, there's CSUs, there's other like the state schools that aren't as ranked high. I also got four fee waivers there, which also I believe might be the maximum amount. And then for my private schools, those are the schools on the Common App. Now, the Common App is a very, very fun place that will probably become your best friend um, during your college application season. Um, I went through the Common App because I go to a regular high school. I believe there's this thing called Coalition App. I don't know what kind of student you have to be in order to do that. Um, but either way, the Common App will be your best friend, as I said. I applied to eight Common App schools, and I was gonna do other school, other private colleges that aren't on the Common App, that have their own, like, separate application just for their school, but I don't wanna really go through that, so I just stuck with the eight Common App schools. And there are so many schools on the Common App that it's almost just tiring for you to do that school's like entire separate application unless that's like your dream school. I know uh, Georgetown has their own application, they are not on the Common App. And I believe Rutgers University um, also has their own application as well. So going through again my college process and my sort of um, application process, I started off uh, writing my four UC Insight questions because the UCs and CSUs are due much, much earlier, I believe November 30th, um, compared to the private schools which are like January 1st, unless you're doing like earlies and everything. The UCs are, that I applied to, sorry. <laughs> the UCs that I applied to are UC Berkeley, UC LA, UC Santa Barbara, and UC Davis. Um, you don't see San Diego or Irvine um, primarily because I don't really like the location of those, but also just because um, Davis and I guess kind of Santa Barbara are more of like a fallback kind of a school if I don't get into Berkeley and LA. Berkeley is quite a high match to a low reach for me. Um, Berkeley is quite selective, or it is the most selective out of all the UCs, and that is why it is ranked the highest. 
Um, I'm not sure if I can get into Berkeley because my uh, stats are not the best. Um, although every school is very different and they accept a very wide range of people, especially the private. So if I don't get into Berkeley, I won't be too sad. Um, Berkeley has never been one that has caught my eye and so I'll be fine. Um, UCLA, my parents automatically assume that I'm going to go there and who knows if I just don't get in and that just rubs them on their face. Um, Santa Barbara is quite a party school, however, their academics are still great. Like, they were ranked number two in party schools, but, um, you know. And then Davis is where my uh, niece goes, actually, and I visited the campus and it's a very nice um, little place which um, I just kind of fell in love with the campus, to be honest. But also, um, I do know that Davis really works very, very hard. And this is not to say that San Diego, Irvine, Riverside, Merced, those other places don't work hard. It's just that out of all of the UCs that I could have chosen, I chose these four. And I don't really regret it. I did my CSUs and like Cal State schools. So that's like the in-state... Um, universities I guess. Uh, I did four as I said. I did Cal Poly Pomona which I believe is the highest ranking out of like the Cal states or the state schools. Um, I did San Luis Obispo, uh, Long Beach, and Fullerton. Those four are I believe like in order or yeah I don't know but I do know that they're pretty high ranked because obviously State schools are very much of a safety for a lot of people. Some people don't even apply. Okay, so moving on to the actual private universities. Private universities, I applied to eight, as I said. Um, I'm gonna actually read them off a list because I always try to, I always miss one when I'm trying to say them all out loud. So the highest um, college and I probably will not get in college was Brown University. I'm gonna read them from reach to match to um, safeties was Brown University. Brown is such a reach for me as I said like I'm debating if I can get into Berkeley so I probably will not get into Brown but Brown is just like my only one Ivy that I just wanted to try because it's one of the most laid-back Ivy schools Next, I did NYU, which NYU is kind of a unicorn, as well as USC. Those schools are kind of unicorns. Sorry, I'm like looking at myself. Um, NYC, NYC. NYU and USC are very unicorn schools. They accept a really wide range of people, either um, this person because of their academic grades, and then one person because of um, this like cool list of sports or like cool list of extracurriculars they've had. It's very their selection system is very, very weird. So I just tried both of them. Um, I also have Emory University on here. Emory University is a pretty high ranking school. I believe it's number 20, like the news report thing that I told you about. Um, I put these three as my matches. I have Boston College, which I did early action to, and I actually got deferred to regular decision, um, which is perfectly fine with me. Um, I did Brandeis University, which is also in Massachusetts, as well as Boston. And I also did Northeastern University, which is also in Boston, Massachusetts. Northeastern University, I applied because it's such a cool school. It has a co-op program. It has so many like opportunities for you to be out there into the world while in college. Um, out of my matches, out of Boston, Brandeis, and Northeastern, I would probably want to go to Boston College Northeastern and then Brandeis to be honest and then for my last safety school I have Syracuse University. Okay, so that is pretty much it for this video I feel like I gave you guys so much information and yet so little information if you guys would like separate videos on the applications for each type of school, the comment app, if you guys have any questions please comment them down below because I am here to share everything for you guys really um, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know that you like college and advice kind of videos so that I can do more. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!